Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What what was it that was the the thing that finally made you go, all right, it's it's sobriety for me. It's not some level of moderation. It's it's not, you know, I can't control this. I need to be done with it. Uh, it's totally a, a first step stuff. I am powerless against alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, it just, and I tried moderation and I had the rules and I'll only yeah. drink wine. I'll only drink on Fridays. I won't have anything in the house. It's only hard liquor if I'm out. Um, yeah. you know, and, and I went through a very, 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 very tumultuous relationship that, that necessarily isn't any better. And I didn't want to live then to the point of, uh, of an attempt um, mm. you know, thank, thank, yeah. you know, the, as I say, the God I do business for, um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I just, I have my kids and I went, I don't want to leave them, uh, the same kind of scars. You know, I didn't really see my dad use per se, but there was something mm. where I started to realize I see myself repeating so many family patterns that have been there for generations that I don't want to do that anymore. And I want my kids to know that if I can do this, that they don't ever have to go down that road. And if they do, I got their back and a really cool community of other people will have their back too. And so for me, it was just, yeah, I'm powerless. I continue to just surround myself with unhealthy people. And I just saw my life turning to, to nothing. You know, mm -hmm. I, for me, the rock bottom, it wasn't, wasn't jail time, although I did up in the, up in the silver bracelets once. Um, it, it, you know, anklet. My I got ended up getting you know the fucking um God, yeah, think, probation. Jewelry. Yeah, probation and all that shit. And you know, and it's like God, I don't. I was such a motivated individual. Like when I got in radio at twenty one, like where did all that go? Mm. Where did all that go? Like I yeah, I just don't want to be this anymore. So yeah. yeah, I just had to change uh, change one thing about myself. That's everything. Thank you for sharing that with me. Oh, well, thank you for asking. Really appreciate it. Yeah, well, you know, all 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 thoughts that are circling me now. Mm -hmm. I was I was I was fully sober for about two months, uh, in the process of writing this album, actually. Wow. Um, and they were like the most productive months of my life. It was it was nuts. I couldn't believe I wrote half of the songs or I, I started half of the songs on this project during that time. Wow. Uh, and it was so good. And then I just kind of slipped back, you know? Yeah. Um, it's easy to do. Yeah. It's easy to do, especially I know this for me. I, I, I got, I think maybe the opposite of you. I got to a mm -hmm. point where people always, you know, what what were you trying to escape? I got to a point where sober I was so numb that it seemed mm -hmm. the only time in my drunken perception that I was experiencing joy and pleasure and interaction and everything else was uh, if I have a few in me, at least, you know, because I wasn't always I didn't always drink to the point of getting drunk or blackout drunk for that matter. No, but I get it. You like your your situation kind of moves from where you're here when you're sober, but you're so used to being up here that you need just, just to feel normal. Yeah. You need to have a few, cause that becomes the new normal. And then, but, but it just, the target keeps moving, right? This is the knocking doors down podcast featuring celebrities, experts, and everyday people who have overcome adversities, including addiction, mental health, and trauma to live purposeful lives. And that's what knocking doors down is all about.